Alright, the great search brought to you by DigiKey and Interview. Thank you, DigiKey. Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering every single week to show you things that you can find on DigiKey. And this week is a special uh, gift giving favorite tool edition of things you can find on DigiKey site after we saw something cool. So take it away, Lady Ada. That's right. Um, so I actually didn't do a lot of DigiKey part searching this week because everyone's um, on break, which is wonderful. Um, but I did see this really cool thread uh, that uh, Thea Valkyrie um, posted on Twitter. So let's go to my computer and I can show it. Yeah. Ta-da! Um, so I love this idea. It's like, you know, the, the day after Christmas or the day of Christmas, ask, you know, what did people get this year or for, for the holidays, that, especially tools that you want to show off. And there's like really good examples in here. So check out um, Star Girls uh, tweet thread because there's like there are dozens and there's more showing up and I, I, I'm not going to get to all of them um, but the first one that came up is from Timon uh, who does uh, us really cool open source hardware and um, they said uh, this brush and these little swabs for cleaning PCBs and uh, even Eva who's, who's team Adafruit uh, intern was like those are really cool um, so I thought this is actually a really good idea to show off so these swabs ESD brushes are are pretty common, but these swabs, what I thought was interesting about them is they're foam tipped, um, not cotton tipped. And so that means that they're, you know, you can use them to get flux remover in on your circuit boards and clean them up uh, without getting like the little snags of cotton that always kind of come off um, and get hooked, especially on like little sharp corners of your components. I um, uh, don't like that. Um, but these foam tip brushes are good. So I thought I would show how you could find Foam swabs on DigiKey. So uh, I go to DigiKey and I actually just, I actually was like, I'm just going to search for foam swabs. And it turns out that there is a, um, a whole section called Clean Room Swabs and Brushes. And this stuff is like, wow, there's like such good stuff in here. Um, so it's interesting because I'm not looking for a specific thing. I'm just looking for a general thing. But I'll look for, uh, you know, active and in stock. And, um, there's cotton ones, of course, but we don't want cotton tip. We want just like foam. Note that there's like hog. You want like hog tip swabs? You can get that. Um, but I want uh, foam. So let's look at foam tip. And in particular, this is uh, polypropylene. Um, there's a couple. This one is sort of like a, uh, yeah, like this is where the, the mouse over photos come in handy because I was able to like really scan through them. Um, short has kind of like a rounded swab. These are pre-saturated. Um, this is from Chemtronics, so has kind of like the coolest, weirdest, like graphic treatment of all the chemical components companies. Um, but this is actually the one that was, I think, the the closest. So you get a 500 piece pack for 65 bucks, and um, yeah, this nice, nice sharp pointy tip but i'll say that there's a couple other options as well um there's like flexible ones uh there's ones that have a, a clear clear tip to them they're not like made out of wood there's ones that do are made out of wood i wouldn't you know it's ironic as i was going through this i was like these look a lot like um like covid test swabs don't use them for that this is for cleaning your pcbs um ones that are like guaranteed esd safe all sorts, but um, check out these. So this is a kind of a really fancy swab. This is just for like um, soaking up. So if you spilled a little bit too much flux remover, you can I think use this to, to kind of soak up some of that material very gently. So um, checking up a lot of options, but I think uh, the one that looks closest to um, the one they had was this one from, from Chemtronics. And you get 500 packs, 500 pieces in this pack. Uh, 44070. Um, but check out the other swabs and cleaning supplies. It's one of those things where uh, future you will thank you when you get good cleaning equipment and good tools because then when you need it, you're not like, oh my god, I don't have, I'm losing a q tip. And it's, yeah, and then you're cleaning the q tip off the board. Anyways, so check out these foam, foam swabs. I'm going to pick up some of these, I think, for our fab department. Okay. And Don't that's your pick. Uh, I checked out the thread. It's still going on. The thread's still going on. It I just picked is, one item out of it. It is amazing. And then the other thing that um, I'll say is I sent a note to some maker community leaders. Um, and uh, I don't know if people want emails from me anymore. But I had this idea. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, so it was the day after Christmas. And one of the things I noticed is 
so we don't post links to Amazon because some people have issues with Amazon. Some people love Amazon. Um, what we try to do is always post a link t- to the maker's website. If, if someone makes something, whether it be um, their own personal site or a Tindy store, or um, if it's uh, even someone who's, we don't think SparkFun's a competitor, but even if we don't make something, but SparkFun does. Um, oh, I send people to SparkFun all the time. Yeah, and so we do our um, holiday sale stuff where we link to everyone who sells electronics. Like Pololu. You want motor drivers? Go to Pololu. Yeah. They got that covered. And so Way better than me. In this, in this parting great search, because uh, this is the last desk of Lady Ada for oh, the, yeah, year, the year. Oh, yeah, the year. I just wanted to, to say, like, so when we're all posting up links on social media and more, um, if you can remember to link to the, the maker site, um, that's really helpful, and especially if you want to reward open source companies or women-owned companies or minority-owned companies. Um, you know, sometimes there is a, a, a cheaper, worse version on Amazon, or there's a cheaper, worse version on Taobao or Alibaba, and it takes forever to get. Um, but people will say, oh, it's, it's here, but they don't really even know if it is or not. I think we can all spend a couple extra minutes. So I sent a note to community leaders in the maker world. And uh, we'll see. I, I thought this would be something we could all do in 2022 20, together. Because I think, you know, you've heard the term virtual sing- signaling. People are like, oh, Amazon's the worst. And then some people say Amazon is great. They're one of the biggest employers in the country. Well, no, no matter what, though, that debate aside, um, when people are sending things to each other on social media, if you could link to the person's website, the company's website that you like, that you want to support, do that anyways. Even if they also do sell on Amazon, because yeah. often Amazon takes a big cut. Yeah, so um, just generally speaking, if you can so find it go on... Go to the original. Yeah, if you can find it, it just takes a minute. Like, we're all smart. We all spend, like, hours researching what socks to buy um, sure. forever. And we read all the reviews, and we're like, fine, I'm going to get these tactical socks. Coming tactical soon. Socks. Coming soon. Nice tactical Can't socks. Can't wait for my tactical Not socks. Nice freaking tactical socks on Adafruit. But um, I think that's something that we can all do together, and I think that, that that's a nice community thing. I used to do that at Make, did that at Hackaday, I do that at Adafruit. I think we can all do that, and the makers, all y'all that are in the chat and, and super fans and part of the community, that's why I think you like Adafruit, because we'll always point you in the correct, right place, even if it's something that someone else would consider a competition. We'll always, we'll always do the right thing, and we don't do affiliate links. And uh, we don't have any policies that says we can't link to, you know, any other site. I know there are some sites that can't link data for it, and I think that's weird, um, but that's their problem. Um, so, anywho, um, so with that is the great search this week. Thanks, everybody. I have to play the song. Play it out. Yeah. Last one of the year. Where in the world is-